going on guys welcome back to the channel uh today out on another auction adventure heading to hastings michigan uh the expo center kind of where we've been going a lot lately having a lot of auctions out there so uh today really great auction this is glassware to the, the heavens i mean we got fenton we got murano depression carnival you name it, it's probably going to be here. This is an amazing collection. Uh, so we're hoping to be able to get some stuff today, but I already know there's going to be some glass buyers here. Dan, if you're watching this, I know you're one of them. Um, but um, I'm hoping to be able to get a couple things today. Uh, with an auction like this, I don't plan on filling a vehicle full. I do plan on getting hopefully like 10 to 15 pieces is my goal today. Um, we've been selling glassware a lot better lately. So I think that's something that's actually on the rise when we talk about um, what's getting you know hotter, you know, with what's selling. We've been selling glassware a lot. So I'm actually was really excited for this auction. And um, I think it's gonna be really cool. So no, excuse me. Shout out to hold up, let me shout let me shout out to Amber here. Uh, we just carved pumpkins. Uh, couple nights ago i always save the pumpkin seeds out because i enjoy roasting the pumpkin seeds and she had this really amazing recipe with like uh, garlic powder oh it's 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 phenomenal so i get to bring a big old thing of uh pumpkin seeds with me to munch on throughout the day so yeah <laughs> to go off on a little tangent here it is a balmy it is 31 degrees here in michigan we're on october 27th 26 was yesterday mom and dad's uh, anniversary happy anniversary mom and dad um but yeah, 32 degrees, frost on the ground. It is freezing here in Michigan. So, um, so yeah, it's at least the auction's inside, so we don't have to worry about that. But I think you guys are really going to enjoy this auction. This is going to be a uh, really fun um, glass auction. Again, I'm hoping for 10 to 15 pieces. Quote me on it. Hopefully, at the end of this auction, that's what we end up with. We'll see. Um, you just never know with auctions. You don't know who's there, who's going to spend the money. You just don't know. So, all right, guys, let's head inside. We'll show you everything. We'll uh, do the voiceover through, which I oh, love it still. Uh, voiceover through everything, and then we'll go from there. So, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye. 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 All right, so let's get rolling on this auction. Now, this was very unexpected. It actually was about a quarter of the room was full. There was not a lot of stuff here. I thought there was going to be way more stuff here. So it ended up being a very small auction, um, but the quality was super high. So a very high-end auction, but just not a lot of stuff here. So my 10 to 15 prediction is definitely not going to come through. But they start off here with a bunch of beautiful Longa Burger baskets. Uh, these are some of the best uh, woven baskets out there uh very high quality the original boxes very cool pieces most of them sold anywhere from you know thirty dollars to forty five dollars a piece and that was just way too much compared to what we can sell them for so didn't get a chance to touch much of the longer burger baskets but we definitely got plenty more coming up showing you some uh more coming up here in the auction Yeah, like I said, there was a lot of people here, uh, a lot of collectors. Oh, man, there were so many collectors there. They walked in with totes, and that's never a good thing when they come and bring their own totes and wrappings. So we were expecting uh, not the best turnout with this, and it turned out that way, that's for sure. Uh, you have more Longa Burger coming up here. Most of those small pieces sold for 5 to 12 bucks a piece. Again, just too close to what we would sell them for. These beautiful pieces right here were more into the 30 to $40 range. Again, for what we sell them for at the store, it's just too close to the amount that we couldn't spend on. Um, coming up here, though, uh, this stuff, the Swarov or Swarovski crystals. I know I'm saying that. The, I know what I'm saying, but that's close to what it was. But I was actually here early enough. I got to research a bunch of these. So I was very well prepared going into the auction, hoping to get a few of these. And just like you're going to see a common thread with this video, everything was going at cost or more everything was i mean i couldn't touch anything all these crystals were going for 15 to 30 dollars a piece for the small ones um if not even more the animals were going 40 to 60 dollars a piece uh but there's some really gorgeous ones coming up here that were the bigger versions that i just fell in love with i was trying to get ones for eliza and amber for christmas and uh they just were going so high i mean i'll show you one coming up here that i can um, tap into the research uh, that one was another one but the turtle one right here uh, they sell for about 140 and they went for 220 at the auction so yeah it was tough it was tough uh, a bunch of nice fenton coming up here <sighs> again a common thread is that this stuff was just going so high um, you know just these normal pieces and boxes going 40 to 75 dollars a piece 
again, um, when you're a collector, you can spend that money and there is nothing wrong with that. I'm all for it. But just as us as a reseller, we just couldn't touch anything today. So um, it was a rough day. But uh, to me, this auction was just to see this stuff. Seeing this stuff was meant the most to me because you don't get to see a lot of this quality glass and crystal and the, the longer burger you don't see that stuff in the wild very often so to be there in person to actually see the stuff touch it move it around a little bit it was quite awesome to see in person so um so yeah we'll go through more stuff here i can kind of you know at least give you a little more rundown on prices but i uh, just do know that these prices were sky high way more than what i could sell them for um so and as you guys will see this is a quick walkthrough because um it was not uh, a lot of stuff here as much as uh, I thought they from what they showed in picture I thought there's gonna be a lot more so so yeah let's get up to here to a little more of the Fenton as you guys can see man this stuff is just it's the it's the best stuff it's so nice it's beautiful the color on it is just unreal to me I mean I've done collecting one-on-one videos on Fenton glass and these pieces right here you're looking again you were looking in the 35 to 65 dollar range up for the baskets and I mean, Morano glass going for what it's worth, you know, 60 to 75 bucks a piece. Um, the red, ooh, love the red. Red is always my favorite with the fan. That red iridescent was always just such an eye catcher. But as you can see, you'll see all those empty tables. Those are totes for the next auction. They're doing a big music auction coming up next week. Um, like I said, you'll see a look at all the empty tables. I mean, it was not a huge auction. I thought, in my mind, me and uh, uh, fellow vendor got there and we thought it was going to be this huge auction just full of stuff and it wasn't it was it was a very small auction um but again when the collectors come out like that it's tough you know these pieces i mean just i hope you guys in the comment section can see what i'm talking about here though i'm out there you know have you guys seen this many beautiful pieces of fenton in one sitting minus you know going to the fenton store in ohio obviously but um eh, as you guys are seeing there's not <laughs> it was not a lot of stuff there but um but man look at that this that lamp is gorgeous oh this lady was sitting next to me she bought those two pieces those two lamps right there the fairy lamps those are going for 60 to 70 bucks a piece just beautiful beautiful stuff and we've been selling fairy lamps like crazy like i talked about at the beginning of the video we've been selling glassware like very very well lately um so it's uh something i was definitely looking for but the prices i just couldn't 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 touch and the grilly there is those sold for over 125 dollars uh that piece right there uh they sold in separate pieces which made it tough but together they sold for about 375 dollars for the pitcher and bowl set um yeah there's a little bit of bohemian glass uh slag glass again Slide glass was going 35 bucks. Again, that's just too too close. You know, like I told you guys, it's when you're a reseller, it really puts you into a, a hard spot because you can't overspend on stuff because you like it. You have to make sure you stay within your limits because, who the hand painted Fenton. Yeah, with the original box, tell me that's not some beautiful pieces. Those the clowns were going for 25 to 50 or 25 to 45 bucks. Um, again, just too close. As you guys are going to get a common thread here, that cranberry pitcher and bowl set to the back there right there that sold for about 475 again beautiful pieces i mean again just to get to see this stuff in person was so cool touch it and just look at the quality and the craftsmanship that goes into those are just something that i really appreciate even though i wasn't able to get anything today which is a spoiler for the end of the video i didn't get it <laughs> but um but yeah most of these pieces here guys they were 25 to 40 bucks a piece if not more um, I thought they were cool though, kind of a Christmas themed Fenton. I thought were really cool. The red, white, and blues were going for 120 to 175 bucks um, for a Fenton there. That was pretty hard to come by. But again, you know, sometimes you just got to appreciate it, and you always can't win at every auction. As much as you'd like to come out with a load of stuff, it just doesn't always work out that way. So, um, but there was more right there. Those fairy lamps, those were going for 75 bucks a piece. I mean, at, you know, and I, it was just. You kind of just sit back, and I did. I sat back and said, okay, I see it's going to be one of those auctions. So I just kind of watched and seen if something would come up that was going to be in the price range I can buy. And it just wasn't. It just wasn't it wasn't my day. But those purses are really cool. I always thought the glass purses were cool. We've sold those before in the store, but usually sell them for about 35 to 45 bucks. but they were going for more than that. So, you know, it's kind of frustrating. But, you know, again, 
you're not guaranteed anything in auction. The red, white, and blues are going for about 150 right there. Those things were gorgeous. I mean, just the, <laughs> if there's one thing you get out of this video, please appreciate all this beautiful glass that's, you know, something you don't really get to see much anymore. And with the original box, original tags, stickers, I mean, this was such an amazing auction to go to. Just wasn't lucky enough to be able to buy anything because, like I said, if I collected it, man, I could have had a I could have had a heyday at this auction. But I just don't collect Fenton. That's just something I'm not into. So, so right, guys, that was about it for the walkthrough. So as you're gonna see here at the outro, we'll let you know a little more that I didn't get much. <laughs> all right, guys, auction is all done. Um, we're back at the store the next day. Uh, as you can tell from the walkthrough, or maybe you could tell. We didn't get anything at that auction. That auction was so high priced. A lot of stuff is going for what it's worth or not even way more than what it's worth. But hope you guys did get to enjoy the auction. A lot of beautiful stuff there. Beautiful Swarovski crystals, uh, Longa Burger Fenton. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous pieces. Those were collectible pieces. Still in the box, still have the tags. Lots of really cool items. So hope you guys got to enjoy that. But yeah, we didn't get a chance to get anything out of that auction. That was a rough one. Uh, we hung out for the whole thing, but just didn't get a chance to to make the bid because everything was going more than what we can sell for. And when you get to that, that just is not a good market for a reseller. So, okay guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys want to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that great stuff. And if you get some time, come out and see us and get your antique fix on M66. See you guys later.